Welcome to step number three of Enable Training and Consulting 7 Steps to FRC Robot Success videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to integrate a new servo motor into our robot code. Let's go straight to the block diagram of the Begin VI and select WPI Robotics Library from the Functions palette. We select Actuators, then Servo, and then select the Servo Open VI. We drag this VI to place it on the block diagram. Next, we also need to register the servo reference using the servo registry set VI. We drop the servo registry set VI onto the block diagram from the same actuator palette. Now we're going to select the physical PWM channel that our new servo motor will be connected to. We do this by right clicking the PWM channel input terminal on the servo open VI and clicking create and then constant. We can click on the constant to open a list of PWM channels to select from. Next, we need to connect the servo device reference and error clusters from the servo open VI to the servo registry set VI. The servo device reference is a reference inside LabVIEW to the PWM channel that was opened. The servo registry set VI will save this reference for later use with a name that we can define. To define a name for the servo reference, we can create a constant for the refnum name input terminal on the servo registry set VI. You may give any name that you wish for this reference. This completes the initialization of the servo. Next, we'll need to configure the finish VI to close the servo reference when we're done with it. We'll start by opening the finish VI. and then create more room for the code we're going to add by enlarging the sequence structure. Next, we'll place the servo reference get VI from the same palette we used last time. We also need the servo close VI. Now we can create a constant on the refnum name input terminal of the servo reference get VI to name the reference for this VI to get. In this case, we'll choose the reference that we created in the begin VI. Wiring this reference into the servo close VI completes the reference close. Next, we're going to configure the servo to move when we move the joystick. First, we need to open the Teleop VI. The servo we're using has an angle range of 170 degrees and the joystick axis data gives a value between negative 1 and positive 1. Therefore, the formula that we're going to use to translate joystick position to servo position will be servo angle equals joystick input plus 1 times 85. To implement this, first we need to get the user input from the joystick cluster. We'll expand the unbundle by name function and then select Axis 4. Next, we'll select the programming palette, then numeric, and place an add function and a multiply function on the block diagram. Next, we wire the axis 4 value into the add function. And then create a constant to add 1 to the axis value. Then, we'll wire the output of the add function into the multiply function. And create a constant to multiply by 85. To set this calculated value as the servo's angle, we'll need a servo reference get VI and a set angle servo VI from the servo subpalette. 
First, we'll wire the output of the multiply function into the angle terminal on the set angle servo VI. Next, we'll create a constant for the refnum name input of the servo reference get VI to get the servo reference that we created in the begin VI. Finally, we'll wire the servo reference from the servo reference get VI into the set angle servo VI to set the angle of the PWM channel we originally opened. We'll also wire the error cluster. This completes the configuration of the servo motor. In step 3 of our 7 steps to FRC robot success, we added a new servo motor to our robot project. We then modified our Teleop VI to move the servo motor with the joystick.